for my fountain of youth because I'm turning 30. I also happen to have made over 300 films. Well, at least that's the official count. Most of them now are game reviews, movie reviews, basically online videos cranked out week after week. I haven't counted every video I've made, so I'll never have a real accurate number, but I guess numbers don't matter a whole lot, like turning 30. As a kid, I always got excited about grabbing the camera and running out into the woods to make some crazy movie. I had all these ideas revolving in my head. All I wanted to do was make movie after movie after movie. Lately, I've been more focused and dreaming about making that big feature film. Sometimes I gotta ask myself, why do I do these things? I guess because there's so many people watching me. But even before the internet, it's always been like that. In high school, people would ask me why I make movies, and I could never really answer that. But I think what sparked this whole obsession was a nightmare I had when I was very young. It's actually my earliest memory. I was in a playground, being pushed in a baby stroller by my mom, when all of a sudden she disappeared and I was all alone. So I just waited there for her to come back. Then a dragon appeared and tried to eat me. I woke up crying and screaming into my pillow. My mom turned on the light and explained to me I was just having a nightmare. It was my first experience with the power of imagination, something that would eventually become my most valuable tool. I don't remember all the details, but I know this was a recurring dream. Some variations had me in the middle of a pond or a pool of some sort, while the dragon rose its head and spat water on me. But I think there's more to the story. So while visiting my mom on Mother's Day, I asked her all about it. In fact, the first time when we took you home from the hospital, your dad took, his, took us to the park first, and we took you to the park. That was the first thing we did. There was a big dragon, and it, had, it was a water sprinkler, kind of water fixture. How often did I go to this playground? Oh my gosh, probably every day, every other day. But uh, in real life, I wasn't afraid to go to this playground, was I? No, you loved it. You wanted to see the dragon. So I'm not really sure where the fear came in. I think you were, you were more obsessed about it. You never forgot that dragon, ever. That's where I'm going. I'm going to find this playground, my very own fountain of youth. There's something sentimental about watching an old cartoon or playing an old video game but never have I had such a mind-blowing flashback as this, and never will I again. It's like I'm going back to the place of my origin, which happens to be near the hospital where I was literally born. I'm on a quest to face the dragon one more time. The dragon is something I feel has always been with me in some form or another. Many cartoons and movies I watched used to have dragons, Godzilla was like a dragon, and I can't even begin to count how many video games I've played where you have to fight one. In short, a dragon has always stood in for anything that's big and scary that you have to conquer. Only through fear can we gain courage and evolve. As a child, I was so afraid of nightmares, I'd sleep with the light on most every night. I even had visions of a creepy E.T. looking in through my window. But there's some kind of attraction to fear, which I think we're all born with. So if I wanted a thrill, I'd turn that light out and watch my bedroom become a parade for all kinds of horrible monsters and goblins. Why else would I keep asking my mom to take me to a playground where I can see a dragon? It's just that somehow we're drawn to the things that terrify us. I began watching horror movies at a young age. I started with the classics and worked my way up. You'd think that would make anyone's nightmares worse, but for me, it had the opposite effect. It helped me put things in perspective that it's all imagination. I started making my own stories on audio cassettes about creepy monsters, heroic journeys, and epic battles. Then I started doing photograph albums, stories with just pictures in which my friends and I would fight dragons. Then came the video camera, the amazing invention that combined audio with moving image. My true art was born. I took a break to explore other forms of art like animation and drawing comics. Eventually I moved back to film and started taking Saturday and summer courses at an art institute. Many films were watched and many books were read. It quickly became my life's passion. Without a computer to edit with and without many actors, the odds were always against me, but I pushed through with what I had. After many years of college, different jobs in the video field, and years of making web series online, I look back to the source, this playground, right here. 
I owe it all to the dragon, and now it's time for a reunion. overwhelming stroke of fate. After nearly 30 years, the one day I come back, the park is being renovated. Had I come one day later, or even hours, I would have been too late. This is exactly how I remember it as a child, and this is the last time I'd see it this way. Say goodbye to the past. Time to move forward and create those movies of my dreams. Because dreams are where it all started.